Hello freelance, my name is Serena and I am officially 20 years old today. I am originally French, but I don't speak English. <coughs> don't mind the French accent. I am what we call a genius. Today, I will be reading a lovely story from my diary. So please grab a few tissues. <coughs> um, I meant popcorn. Chapter 1 The New Girl Today, a little girl arrived at the opening. She looked so pretty in her cute sick dress. It was too bad that her surface knew the beauty of everything. From now, we will share the same bedroom. <laughs> That's what the orphanage headmistress said. I heard the headmistress say that Dolphina came from a rich British family. I've always wanted to be a princess. But unfortunately, I was born and raised in a poor family of 10 children. Chapter 2 Confessions Yesterday at breakfast time, Daphina sat next to me. She told me all about how her parents passed away in a car crash. <sighs> Daphina and her parents were on the way to the airport while the flight to the United Kingdom awaited them when all of a sudden the driver began to yell that the car brakes were not calling anymore. And that's how the car went into a pool and ended up in flames. All she remembers is waking up on the pavement next to their burning car. The police told her that she would have to spend some time at the orphanage. I will give them more time to find out what really happened. And they also need to figure out how to contact the family members abroad. I would like to become a detective someday, I told Delfina. Since she has bothered to tell me what happened to her, it was now my turn to open up. My father entered the American territory illegally and he had been jailed because of that. When my mom found out, she had a heart stroke because of her death. This is how I ended up in this orphanage. My dream is to study abroad so that I can become a professional detective. This will help me find my dad and get him out of jail. Delphina confessed then that she too dreamt of becoming a professional detective to be able to help the police locate her family members in England, all of that in the hope of going back to her home country. Chapter 3 Best Friends and Promises None of us wanted to stay in the orphanage forever, so we made a promise to leave the orphanage with the intention of leaving for abroad in order to find our families. Thus, began a long and beautiful friendship. In order to find our families, we needed a way to leave the country. Studying abroad was our only solution. Peter, the headmistress's son, goes to the neighboring school. He volunteered to teach us everything he learned at school. We studied hard every day up to exhaustion. Our goal was to win the scholarship the government offered each year to three needy students. Only the best had chosen. Years passed by at an alarming speed. Dolphina and I were already celebrating our 18th anniversary. Daphina and I took the exam that would help us win a college scholarship. The results were delivered this morning. The moment we've been waiting for is here at last. I'm pleased to inform you that you've been accepted into the doctoral program in criminology for the fall 2012 semester. Please find and close your scholarship award letter. 
you are choosing to be among our 2012-2013 yearly ATS scholarship winner. Chapter 4 Separation Delphina had also managed to win a college scholarship and a place in a world-class university. She had chosen the University of Fine in London and I had chosen the University of Heart in New York. This choice of different countries was related to the fact that our goal was to find a family member in our respective countries. Delphina gave me a heart-shaped necklace made of rubies in memory of her friendship. <sighs> we made a promise to meet again one day. Best friends for life.